You said before the game that the next win was just around the corner. What did you mean by that? <laughs> that. So, so pleased today, honestly. Um, we, we have deserved this and it, it's not, I can't say it's not been coming. Um, yeah, no business in the transfer market, no business yesterday, but I told the boys, I said, we're a team. I don't need to do any more business. If we can or we can't, it doesn't matter. This is a team and come with me because we're going to go places. And that performance was the same as Ipswich, the same as Southampton, but we got what we deserved today. We really did. And, and for those over in that corner, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Keep Your fans, because you really got us over the line today. The lads were superb. Changes, young lads coming on, academy products on the bench. I mean, I'm really, really proud. And it's not been easy. Believe me, it's not been easy. But I'm hoping, I'm really hoping people see what we're playing. We're trying to play. We're trying to do a different style. We're trying to be difficult to beat. Losing Cook here just before half time was a big blow. But, you know, when I'm taking players off, it's a compliment to go, you've given everything. Thank you. I'm not having to change because it's going wrong. I'm having to change because... They're not giving, they've given everything. They emptied the tank again. You know, it's been an emotional week again because I felt so bad for the boys. They deserved so much out of last week and didn't get anything. And, you know, with, with all the window going on, with all the rumours, with everything going on, I've kept this squad together. And I'm telling your players, your, your big players, I'm saying stay with us because we'll achieve. You don't need to go elsewhere to achieve. We'll achieve. And performances like that will achieve. You use the phrase hard to beat how satisfying is it to achieve net zero and keep that clean sheet <laughs> well you know the game against Ipswich you know there's a there's a snapshot from Chaplin almost got it Norwich at home you know the last minute last week probably a 1-1 yeah definitely but maybe something else but today that that resilience that those boys have showed Jake Clark's also coming on and and you know that the trust is there Stevie Jim McKenna Ziad making his first minutes you know it's Paul Smith learning the wing back role. All these things are coming too, you know, and I'm really pleased. And then Ryan Collier. I've got, you know, I've got players like Albert, Charlie Kalman, and Elijah didn't get on today, you know, on the bench and, and, and hopefully they'll get some minutes, you know, soon. But I trust them all and, and that's really important. The boys have got to believe. I did a little graph before the uh, just before we came out in the dressing room. Um, not a big graph because there wasn't much time, but a little graph, a couple of lines and said, this is where we're going, this is us. And you've got to believe, you've got to stay with this, you know, and, and believe in what we're doing. And uh, I'm so pleased, and I'm so pleased for the owners who've backed me. You know, um, me and Lee have had a hell of a transfer window trying to get things in and trying to think things done, but it's paid off, you know, and, uh, and hopefully everyone will recover now going into the next two weeks on the back of a win. And against Sunderland, who've had a magnificent win today, we've got to be at our best because that's going to be a tough game. But um, it's going to be a nice journey home. That, that could have been a long one today, but uh, I'm really proud and pleased that the boys have... Uh, have made it easy for me. Andre Dezel got his first Rangers goal today. More than that, what was his all-round performance like until he went off? Listen, um, <clears throat> I think people have got to realise now this is a new era, this is a new thing with QPR. And reset what you thought about any players before this and, and start judging them on from now because I see potential in some of these boys, you know, and Andre Dezel has performed unbelievably since, since I came in. Didn't really feature too much last year. I had to stay up. I had to find a way and a combination of doing that. This season, Andre is really... And, and, uh, and Jack Kobach's fit now. And Andre was probably thinking, when he's fit, I'm coming out of midfield. No way, Andre. You've, you've pushed him up one. He's playing that 10 role fantastically well. And what a goal. What a goal, by the way. I've, I've never hit one like that myself. Well, maybe one. Rushton and Diamonds. <laughs> but not off the post and into... That was brilliant. Um, I'm, I'm really pleased for Andre but I'm really pleased for everyone. I don't want to pick any individuals out because we are a team and we're a team that is going to achieve if we keep doing the right things and keep playing like that. Outstanding boys, thank you.